Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video, you <laughs> golf life legends. Your voice went all funny, isn't <laughs> it? Oh, you sped up a tape. <laughs> uh, basically, today we are down uh, back at the beautiful Burr Hill. Um, new today? The new course. Yeah, we've played down quite a lot, obviously, in videos with Todd Clements, but yeah, new one. I haven't played this in years. I'm looking forward to it. I love this place. I love the people of this place because they're lovely with us. Uh, and today we're going to play an 18 hole match, but it's going to be a bit different uh, because obviously, with the news about Soccer AM coming to an end, uh, Big Ange here is going to be the interviewer. The interviewer is turning the interviewee. Yeah, we're going to talk about all I'm the good I'm going to ask you a few questions and I about yeah. sort of when it all started, how it started. Yeah. Best, worst moments exactly. up until now. So, yeah, should be how fun. I'm feeling last show coming up. So. Mm. Yeah, it's going to be maybe a bit emotional, but... Um, and some poor golf as usual. <laughs> poor so, golf as yeah. usual. 18 hole match, match play. Love you. Let's go, golf life. Par four, 377. Stroke index 10. I've got a driver. And of course, my ball is on a castle tee. Because castle tees are the ones. We're not doing any shots either. Not oh, shots, we no. We're just go straight here. out. A friendly, the, friendly chat. Up the castle tees. <laughs> head still. Keep your head down. Oh my god. Oh. Scotty! Nah, we're good. <laughs> oh yeah, that's alright. It's nice all right. line in. Oh, the old hips gone a bit wonky there. Hey, hips don't lie. Right, legends, not the best first shot. And this looks suspect. You've just seen the close-up. It's on like a, I don't know, cut grass. But we haven't placed it there. I swear on my family's life. It just looks suspect. But that's apparently when Scott, the other Scott, you popping up. You it, popping up on a nice light again? No, I'm not popping up on a nice light. It's look. God knows what I'm gonna do here. That's well out. Well out. Go on. Great shot, bro. Great Good shot. Do We've got 185 yards, six iron. Oh, that is garbage. Miss it. Miss it. Miss Could it. Could be the bunk. Oh. <sighs> Great strike. I like that. Great I like strike. That. Great strike, great strike. Oh, <laughs> pay the flag. Great I strike. This blooming game. Right, third shot. Gonna go bump and run. Oh, oh. There's a bit of bone on that meat, Brewski. Come on. Put a post out on Instagram a couple of days ago about my bad my putting is. I saw that so um, many people replied. Yeah, didn't they? thanks for legends that reply. But I'm just I'm trying a new technique. I'm quite hunched like that, so I'm going to have my arms a bit straighter. And also, quite a lot of people said to get rid of the finger down the side of the. Interesting. Yeah. I mean, you're talking to the wrong person about it. Well, no, I'm not. You're, you're a great putter. Yeah, I know, but I just do it of instinct. I don't so I'll probably hold it properly. So, straight arms. Finger gone. Oh, 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 Still bad at putting. <laughs> but thanks for the tips. Yeah, just for mm. tips. <laughs> right, I reckon there's a lot of people, the subscribers and legends that watch us, they say, stop giving gimme, stop giving gimme. So we're not going to give gimme's, huh? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely not a gimme. That's though, definitely not. Yeah. No, that's not. But let's just put, take it if let's you give put it every me. ball in. Okay. Yeah? For the old, isn't it? It is. Ooh. Ooh. Right, I'll put that in. So that's for a five. A little five each. This is for the half, yeah? Yeah, half a fowler. Right, get rid of it. Straight arms. Ooh. 
Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Kaduba. Okay, Pat Noodle, one up. Done great old getting out that rough. Hey, I'm buzzing about that. It's a bit left. That'll play there, won't it? I think so, yeah. That will play. Lefty as well. Lefty, same line. Right then, fruity. Yeah. Let's get on. Let's get on to the subject of soccer. Yeah. The 28 years. 28 years. 28 years it's been, and uh, obviously the last show's next Saturday, isn't it? Next Saturday. How you uh? How you feeling about it? Um. Yeah. Bit nervous. Bit emotional. What? Oh, 100% emotional. Because that's all I've ever known. Yeah. I've been there since. Literally, man and boy, I isn't was it? There since I was 16. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Do you know what? I'm, I've been dreading the last show because I 100% think I'm gonna cry. Yeah, I think so. I think I'm gonna cry because. And you managed to have tickets from. from yeah, you're coming. And yeah. So I will. I'm, I'm gonna bring my family. It's quite. It's a big deal for us, for the Dale household, isn't it? Yeah. It's been a long. So. A long time. It's just gonna be. But you know, when Fenner says and thanks for watching. And, I'll see you later. He's not going to be saying see you next season. He's going to, that's yeah. it, that's it forever. So I think it's going to be tough. And that, especially, you know, this, this week coming up now, after this video goes, the whole build up, when it gets closer to that final show, yeah. I think I'm going to get more and more upset. Because um, like I said, I've been there, I've been doing the show since yeah. I was 16 years old, yeah. every single time. And Saturday. what, you 41? 41, 41, I'm 41, so. Yeah, 26 years. It's going to be emotional, really emotional, but it's been a good Qu innings, isn't it? Quarter of a decade. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's a long Stop time in one job. Man and boy. That's it, yeah. Love it. Right, there's a ditch there, so I've got to get over it. The so, metro. So I'm going to have to do a... What, are you going hybrid? Yeah, I think so. Cheeky. Oh, great shot. Get, Get over, over it. Get over it. Oh, it's hopped yes, over. Yes, we're over. And it's scuttling up. The plan has worked. Straight, straight down the bet. Right, same for me. Just going to go 7 iron. Just try and get up the middle. Uh, go on, run out. Run out. Run out. Run out. Keep running. That'll do. That'll do. It's a shot in. We've got a shot in. Got 159 to the front of the green. Wind is with us. I'm going to go 7 iron. Oh, I've gone left. Oh, you've been doing that a bit recently, haven't you? Safe. I've got, I've got away. But with yeah, that. it's. 136, wind right behind. I'm going to go wedge. Oh, that's a line. Has he got the length? Oh, it's a good one. Get in. I've hit a goal shot. Two holes in. 40 yards. Oh, firm, firm green, didn't they? They're lovely greens. Yeah. Pie for par. Go on. Like Come right. Come oh! on. Oh! Flat, the flat stick's hotting up. In for six. Two bogeys. Oh! He's got to put it in. Got to put it but in. But it looks like. It's all square. No, gimme, 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 a man after midnight. Oh, lovely. All square. Right, not getting the big stick out, because I've got a little bit of a twingy it. So I'm just gonna just plop my way around it. And hopefully it gets me, gets me there. Oh no, that's oh. not got you around it. That's got you straight into Sherwood Forest. 
Oh. Bam, but a bam, bam for the reload. That's a reload, that, isn't it? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Right. I'd say it's provisional, but that first ball's definitely lost, so. Oh, that's gone left. I think it's dropped out. I think it's dropped out. Over to you, Patty Noodle. Yeah, it's a bit low, but it's gonna run. Tell you what, that's straight down the middle. Yeah, good. Awful execution. It's a, yeah, good well, it's got there though, isn't it? Nice. <laughs> right then, so I thought the first one was absolutely brown bread but it's not i found it granted i'm on a hole that i've never even seen before and i went about 80 yards right but we've got a shot i've got about 130 yards in so i'm going to go nine iron not bad Right edge, not bad, but it's not lost. One, two, three. As easy as A, B, C. To the middle of the green, come on. I like it, I like it, I like it. I like it. And we oh, are done, sing. Right then, third shot. Oh, it's the right length. Yeah, just a bit right, wasn't it? Oh, you hit it. Uh, you hit it. no! You hit it. Absolute misjudge central. Ooh. Oh, lovely. Ooh, roll so that, that distance. Roll that puppy in. So good at that distance. Oh, so this is for the half? Yeah. Don't know how, dreadful hole, but that's golf. Oh, Papa, oh. Rim, rimmer, who got the keys to his bimmer? One up. One up, Patty Noodle. Probably a fair result. Fair result. Par three. That could be great. Oh, great shot. <laughs> Really nice, that. Shot Scandy Andy. It's a bit short. Yeah. Oh, it's in between the bunks. Yeah, well and fruity. Um, obviously I know, because I've known you for 37 years now, all my life. But how did the, uh, how did the, journey, the journey start with Soccer AM? This is, probably the mo this is probably the most question you get asked, isn't it? Soccer AM journey, yeah. how did it start? Yeah, how did it all start for you? It all started through uh, the voice of football, Martin Tyler. MT. Um, our mum uh, used to teach Martin Tyler's kids at school and uh, I had to do work experience uh, when I was at school. And uh, they said, you, you can go to Sky Sports. I was like, oh, amazing, because obviously I love football. And it was like, oh my God, so I was so nervous. And the first day I got there, they went, oh, you're on this program called Soccer AM. And that was, that was when no one really knew Soccer AM. Yeah. But we did, didn't we? Because Uncle Steve, our Uncle Steve was like, Boys, you've got to watch this programme on Sky. Yeah. But we didn't have Sky, so I used to go around Uncle Steve's house to watch Soccer AM. So I remember the first We basically day... got Sky because you started working there. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. Exactly. We were like, well, we probably should get it now. Yeah. But like the first day I walked in, I walked into the office and there was Fenners, Sheepheads. Do you remember all like Neil, Tim, Tim Lovejoy, obviously? Yeah. 
and like all the, the, all the characters, Robbie Knox Tramp. And I was like, oh my God, like I was buzzing. And then, long story short, never left. I was so buzzing to be there and working, you know, within football and at Soccer AM, the you know, program that I watched. Mm. And then as I started working on it, it was just getting bigger every year, bigger every year. Yeah. But I worked for free for four years. I used to just go in every Saturday and just make teas and coffees. And yeah. You weren't, you weren't full-time, were you? No, not full-time. You was literally a Saturday tea boy. Not, not full-time yeah. at all. I was only full-time until a day before I was going to university. Mm. And then Tim Lovejoy, didn't he? he, he some, yeah. some woman called Pippa at Sky, who used to employ people, phoned up and said, I've just had Tim Lovejoy in the office. He, he, you know, he's been told you're going to university. He says, you're not going to university. You're a, you start tomorrow at Sky Sports. Uh, not on Soccer M, on, in the sports library, but... Yeah, at 16, I was there and just yeah. just seeing all these like famous people coming in, like making them teas, and then, and it slowly sort of progressed, which obviously we'll get onto yeah. in the next question. But that's how it started. Work experience through Martin Tyler, and do you know what? It was you were so lucky to you know know someone like Martin to sort yeah. that out. But yeah, four years. Oh working yeah, you for worked free. for it. Yeah, worked for it. There's but a reason why I loved you. I didn't want you to go to university. Yes, yeah, true. I mean, you, you, were, you were the best team maker there. But uh, <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what the reason was. He put me in a nappy. Yeah, we'll we'll get on to that. Bit. Yeah. All right. I don't really know how to play this shot. I think it's a underneath a jobber. Oh, Frewsbury flop. Oh, go oh. on. Keep going. Keep oh, going. Oh. Right yeah, that's not a bad effort. Not a bad effort, go. Gonna have to go pitching wedge, yeah? Oh, I stopped again, didn't I? I did the yeah. Commit. Tea time tease. Little teasy timer on his hands. Oh, that's also a little tea time oh. tease. <laughs> <laughs> normally, normally we'd go gimme gimme, but go. we've listened and we've obeyed. If I was you, I'd never give me that. <laughs> no gimme's. Absolute pun. There we are, in for four, another bogey. And there we go, it's Peter Dale, one up. <laughs> Par five, four, nine, seven. Oh, Jemima. Yes. That's a little beauty. Oh, take that all day long, Cyril. Well done, Cyril Schneer. Yes, up the Cyril You've actually Cyril Schneer it right Schneer. up there, haven't you? Come on. Oh. Over on the right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> just a, yeah, just a bit. All right, found it again. It's embarrassing though. I'm having an absolute western. So I'm just chipping it back on. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, this is a tricky hole, this, isn't it? Very. Beautiful hole. <laughs> it is when you put it 80 yards right. Um, I'm going to go... I'm going to play it safe and go seven iron. Oh, oh no. He's topped it. <sighs> Top fill. I don't like to see it, but I, need, I needed it. <laughs> <laughs> Right, back in the hole. Five iron. 
low little runner, I think. That'll play with it. I think so, yeah. yeah. It's a little bit um a little bit heavy. Shot. There we go, yes. Shot bro, that's great. Really nice. Yes. I had a older brother for five years and ended up wearing a nappy on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Peter the test tube baby. baby. That's talk, right. Talk, talk to the legends. Right. It was one of the most bizarre conversations I think I ever, I'm ever, sure it ever was, had yeah. in my whole entire <laughs> life. So basically, Rocket, remember Little Rocky? Yeah, Little Rocky. Little James Long, you know him, lad, don't you? You know Rocky, little legend. Uh, he uh, used to be a character even... called Heidi. And basically, we used to, obviously, at Soccer AM, they you bring the balls out at the end for the end game. You always used to have a character to bring the balls out. What and was the significance of Heidi? I have you no remember? Idea. Absolutely no idea. He was Lobster Boy before. I mean, there's no significance there whatsoever. Yeah. None of it made any sense. No, that's true. And I That's remember, what made it great though, wasn't it? Exactly. Yeah. And I remember I got a call from Tim and Fenners. Said, can you come up can you come upstairs? So I was working at the sports library at the time. Yeah. And uh, he said, right, Rocket's gone on holiday. You know, at soccer <laughs> at soccer <laughs> and you have time to show me. <laughs> <laughs> at soccer and you, you don't really go on holiday during the season, you just get a massive like school holiday in the summer. Yeah, it was but frowned Rocket, upon, wasn't it? Even when I was there, yeah. you couldn't think go away during Rocket the season. Went skiing. So they went, so do you uh, want to bring the balls out uh, at the end of the show for the fans to have a kick through the, through the hole? And I went, I'm not going to lie, I proper bricked myself. I was like, oh, I don't want to be on telly. I don't, yeah. I, one thing I never wanted to do was be on TV because believe it or not, I'm quite shy. Yeah, as I say, a lot of people don't, don't yeah. know that because of what you've done like character-wise, but yeah. you actually are a really, really shy person, yeah. like, even now yeah. to a certain extent. So... I went, yeah, well, what is it? Like, what, what do I have to do? I like, just bring the balls out. I went, all right, sounds cool. They went, yeah, yeah. And also, we're going to call you Peter the Test Tube Baby. I went, right, okay, like. Am I right yeah. thinking it was a, it was a band? It was like a band. It was a 70s band or something In the like 70s, there was a band called Peter and the Test Tube Baby. Yeah. So when I heard baby, I started to wonder a bit what they, what they meant. And I went, so, all right. Yeah, they went, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, all right. They went, yeah, you just got to wear a nappy. <laughs> just chucked <laughs> it in there, <laughs> willy-nilly. Wear a nappy, yeah. you've got to have a dummy round you, fake cigarette and a can of beer. Yeah. And I went, right, and they went, yeah, what you're going to do is you've got to come out uh, to the conga music, you know, the and it was November. Yeah. So I went, well, Rocket's back next week from holiday, so I'll, I'll give it a go. So I remember that first Saturday, I'm round the back of like the scene dock. It was a towel, but wasn't it? It was a towel. a towel. It wasn't yeah. even a proper wasn't nappy. Even. So there's someone was gaffer taping this nappy to me. I've got a big fat belly, all hairy like that, and then, ironically turned into an alcoholic, yeah. holding a can of beer. And I was like, right. And I remember just going behind the set. Fenners and Sheephead were doing the you know the full European war. Yeah, yeah. I used to love that. And I was just like, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'm dressed in a nappy. And then the conga music came on, and we're like, right, this is like you said, this, this is my yeah. time to show. And I've come out with a bag full of balls, sprayed canned beer everywhere, like, way, way, put it all down, me drunk a bit. And they went, there you go, there's the balls, with my little fake cigarette. And, uh, yeah, the fake cigarette. And yeah. then everyone was like, this is genius, this is genius. So I mean, it was it was embarrassing, but I think that's what made it brilliant because <laughs> it was so cringy to watch, but you couldn't stop watching it. <laughs> a full-grown hairy baby yeah. just coming out doing the conga. Anyway, people liked it. Rocket got back from holiday. We had a vote, a live vote. Who stays? Peter the test you, baby, yeah, yeah. or Heidi? I won the vote. I had to do it for about four years, and that was it. Peter the test you, baby. Wow, <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this chat. <laughs> 135 into wind. I'm gonna go nine iron. Stay. Oh, stay, come on. Stay. Come on. Stay. Stay. Oh, it's oh, on. I think it's just think stayed it's all on right. the edge. Think you're good. 100 yards in. Gap wedge. Oh, nice steady swing. Oh, lovely, lovely. Come on, lovely. Closing Come in, on. two up. 
Oh, oh no, it's long. Parting for par. Oh, it looks good, that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my word. What's Jesus. Oh, oh, my God. <gasps> I've missed the, I've missed the rough. <laughs> oh. oh. Nice. Nice. <sighs> So this is to go two up? Yes it is, and deservedly. No, oh no, Ooh, oh my. Bone on the meat. <sighs> what am I doing? There is a huge amount of bone on that meat os. Oh, that was <laughs> oh dear, this is shocking. On five over. It's not bad. Yeah. Coming out low, aren't they? But they're running out like an absolute good one. Do you know what? I'm taking that all day long. Yeah. Straight, straight, straight. Oh, absolutely used this again, but I'm enjoying it. It's all that matters. Right, I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do, maybe I'll go out that way. Yeah, just go that way. Oh. Any ideas? Did it come out, did it? Oh, result, I'll take that. I'm not going to muck around. I am going to get the free wood on this and hope for the best. Shot, brother. Straight down the middle. Yeah, nice. Yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Two, two, two to the uh, to the green. Great shot, bro. Thanks, mate. Um, we're playing off whites today. I've absolutely no idea. Why are we playing off whites? Don't know. <laughs> so, uh, we're Why playing not? off white. This is very true. We normally play off yellows. But uh, we're off whites today, so I'm just going to go hybrid and try and chip on and go up and down. Whether it happens or not is a different story. Oh, lovely connection. It's right in the rough. Oh, that's good. Oh, is it short? Nice, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's just up for the long stuff. Yeah. Take All it. right. Nice connection. Right then. 66 yards. Unbelievable lie. It's just a three quarter 56, I think. Oh, you. Absolute melt. <sighs> 60 yards. Come on. Ugh, get up. Oh. Get it in that dustbin. Go, 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 go! Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Think that's six for me, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. And this is your fourth, is it? Yeah. Oh, don't get angry, don't get angry. Ooh. Keep smiling, keep smiling, deep breathing. How have I managed to pull this? It's your fifth shot now. 
Fifth shot. Huh? Fifth shot. Yeah. Wow. You all right? Yeah? I had gone early on the, on the birdie song. You good? That's a good putt. Oh! That's, that's the old shrinky twitcher, Lem. That is it? the shrinky sphincter. Ooh! Still one. How have I managed to level that out? Oh, that's unbelievable. Come on, you're better than that. Right, par four, 429 yards. Stroke index six. Shot. Come on. Lovely shot. Didn't go very far though, did it? Driver's, driver's hotting up again, isn't it? Scotty! Oh my God, it's straight at him. Elf. <laughs> I can't hit a ball off the tee today. Absolutely useless. Right, so we found ourselves next to a tree, letting a few couple of members through. Yeah. Um, talk to me about one question, one question only. We, co we covered uh, how you started, yeah. Peter test you, baby. The yeah. next big moment for you was the one question, one question only. Didn't go too well, as far as I remember, the first one. Yeah, the first and also, one. And also, the first one was poor. Talk to me about Lovejoy and the free, and the free lives. Yeah. So, three strikes, you're out. So after, after four years, I think, of running around the car park in a nappy, Tim Lovejoy and Fenners uh, just basically said Even this. That he, he said, <laughs> this ain't very funny anymore, is it? <laughs> I went, no, not really. <laughs> not really. It never was for me. <laughs> yeah. I can't say I really enjoyed the last four years, yeah. but um, Tim was like, but I still want you on, I still want you on screen. Yeah. And I was like, like seriously, why does I, I I didn't understand why he wanted me on screen. He was like, he was like there's something like about you. Like I was like, well, I brick myself every time I go on television. That's like, probably I, what I it was though. Bro, possibly, it? possibly. The, I think it's the awkwardness that was actually quite like endearing. I'm not endearing, but like sort of the innocence of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So well, anyway, so he thought I'm getting embarrassed running on as a nappy in a nappy. So he thought, why not give him a speaking part? So at the end of one of the seasons, he went next year. You're not doing uh, Peter the Test Tube Baby, but I was called. They they, changed, they shortened it down to tubes, tubes at the yeah. time. So he went. Oh, so that's, that's where the name come from. Yeah. If you were on, then yeah. Uh, basically, he said. Uh, so at the start of next season, you're going to do. You're going to have one question and one question only. And I went. All right. You went. Yeah. You're going to have your own segment. You're going to come on. You can ask the guests whatever you want. Um, so that's next season and I, for the whole summer I absolutely bricked myself I remember I was like what, what, is it like? what, what do I ask a footballer or a, like a film star perhaps and whatever so as it was getting closer and closer and closer and closer I was like oh, I, I suppose I've got to try and be a bit funny like so anyway I got to the first show I was like absolutely bricking it all, all week leading up to it I'm like shaking yeah. I'm like, oh, no, no. so I remember it they went and it's time for Tubes' this question. And it was <laughs> <laughs> the toilet <laughs> tissue, sponsored by toilet tissue. So I'm like that, and I remember it. It was the legend, like Frank Worthington on. Mm. And uh, he had a bit of a reputation for being obviously a great footballer, but he also liked, you know, the, the lifestyle, the party lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I've walked up there, shaking in a crappy Ben Sherman shirt, really bad slacks. They so, were all for oh, slacks, were not they? They were about eight sizes too big for you, weren't they? Absolute slack, like yeah. MC Hammer. Yeah. Slacking hell, walked up like that, and the, everybody, Tim was like, just literally dying, just going, like, mm. he's absolutely bricking it. So I was like, oh, who's your question for, Tubes? And I went, it's for Frank. And then the light went down, and I'm sweating. I'm about four stone overweight and the little Ben Sherman rank little number and I went all right Frank you went hello I went uh did you score more on or off the pitch yeah I remember and he went uh on the pitch I went okay thanks <laughs> thanks Frank and I walked off <laughs> 
was no noise for anything. The, the, the toilet tissue thing came back on yeah. and everyone was like that in the, in the I, studio. I was behind the sofa the, and watching that. I was like, oh my God, what all, has he said? All the audience. Fenners was like, <laughs> as I walked on through, I think Fenners was sheep went, you're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> so that so I've looked I've gone back and I've looked back over to the sofa and Tim's gone dip, down to two. Really? And that was because he said you've got this one question, one question only. Uh but you've got three lives. Yeah. You've got three lives. So it basically if you lose your three lives, it's, it's, if it's crap after yeah, three, yeah. yeah. This segment is no it's more. It's gone, yeah. So I was like, oh, so it can't get any worse. And then Tim was like, you've got two lives left, mate. That was absolutely appalling. I'm like, thank you, Tim. So, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the feedback. Thank you, Tim. So the next week, I was like, what can I do differently to make this segment, well, one, a lot better than it was last week because that was absolute poem patrol. Mm. So I remember Ricky Hatton, Neil Razor Ruddock. Um, I walked up. I didn't tell anyone what I was going to do. I thought this could be, this could be, the end this could be just yeah. two lives finished so i just went who's your question for it's for razor ruddock and i went you're coming on fresh and up mm. like that and the whole place just went what the hell like, i remember razor ruddock was like oh my god oh my god oh my god yeah and like ricky hatton was in tears he was like, what have you just done i was just like i just did the thing like you know you're coming on fresh and, yeah. and they were like, well. and then tim just literally just went yeah yeah, that's you're not, good. Not one you're, life. Yeah, you're, yeah, yeah, you're good. You're, you're good. You're good. So from there, that's how it started, and that's you know that's how it went. And I, for again, I did that for a good five, six years. Every time, I used to brick myself. But yeah, it never got any easier for you, did it? No, You'd always I be don't. nervous. I remember that. I'm not that. a rapper. I'm not a rapper. I'm not. You're a certainly actor. not a rapper. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. But but that's how it started, and I suppose further down the line, we get on to. Uh, the rapping and the, you know, the we were. some of the people I met, but that's how it began. So it's, I literally two lives and I was in. Thumbs up. Cheers to Lovejoy. Mm. All right, again, I found myself in absolute cabbage. So it's just a flick out. Try and get it over that bush. Oh, I like that one. I think it's good. Great shot, great shot. Yes. Lovely F, lovely F. Yes, that's a relief. Yeah, it's a right fairway. Nice strike. Yeah, How about Hard, tough shot that, wind yeah. in phase, isn't it? On pitching wedge. Good shot, bruv. No, it's not enough. Lovely swing. Not enough. Lovely swing. Oh, nah, gee, the wind is picking yeah, right up, isn't it? Yeah, seriously windy. 85 yards, I've got my 54. I think with this wind, it's pretty much full on. Lovely. Good length. It's long oh, again. Just crept off the back. Here we go. Left to right, I think. Oh, big un. Big un. Ooh, the new, the new putting stroke's helping me, I think. So what's that, a five? Oh, unlucky. Right, so this is... Uh, this is for the half. Cool. It's mad, isn't it? It takes one amazing shot yeah. in a, on a hole, just to... Fishmonger! Oh, he just doesn't miss within six Come foot, there. Come on! One Great up putt, still. Bro. Great putt, still one up. Par three. Eight iron. Up. Oh, no. Bit left. That's right, isn't it? It's going to be bunker, is it? No. Nah. Stop. 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 Oh. I think it's crept in. 
Oh, lovely. Go. Go. Lovely. Go. Oh. oh. Billsy Bunks. Oh, golf. What are you doing? Billsy Bunks. Right. It's been not bad. It's out. Not bad. All right, I'm out. Okay, I've got that right to left. I'm gonna aim it there. Don't hit it too hard. Come round, come round. Stop, stop, oh. stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh. To make it all square. Oh, spicy meat a ball, a spicy meal. <laughs> oh dear. Tuck, tuck it in, you don't miss them bad, bad boys. Oh, a spicy meat a ball. One up still. Hole nine, three, six, eight, par four. Oh, let's go. Oh, yes. No, yes, yes, all right. Yeah, that's okay. All right, stick one down. Look it left, move on. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go, oh, that's not... It's not too bad, that one. Oh, could be blockage though. Right. You Normal position for me today, left in the cabbage. I've been getting away with it though, I've been getting out of it. Should be alright. Alright! 180 into the green. Never should have gone white, should we? No, definitely not. Should we change it for the back line? <laughs> Go yellows, back nine. You go red. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, right. Woo, that's not a good one, fruit. Right, 73 yards. What a terrible shot. Shot. Come on. Great shot. Oh, oh! I nearly dunked it. I nearly slam dunked the funk. All right, more of the same. I'll take that shot all day. Oh, that's even better, I think. That's even better, my dear. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> they run on miles. They do, they're, they're quite firm now, aren't they? All right, that's left. Berahina, Berahina, Berahina. Oh! Oh! That was absolute tracks all the way, wasn't it? <laughs> How long do you have to wait until it might drop in? Eight seconds, I think. It's not dropped in. Oh! <laughs> oh, why have one I not up, copied your putt? Onto the 10th. Oh, <laughs> still one up. Right, 10th hole. Pat Noodle, one up. Shot. We're coming up play. super low today, aren't they? Right then.
That's a great shot. Oh, I've hit one. What a great shot. I've hit one. What a fantastic little smash. Nice. Well played, Biggin. Thank you. I touched on it in the previous chat. You sort of went on from doing what you were doing in the studio. You sort of went ventured out a little bit, didn't you? Started doing your raps to uh, various famous people. Like Film junkets. junkets. And junkets and, uh, and sort of red carpets and stuff, didn't you? Yeah. What's uh, talking about them? What best ones, worst ones? When did it go? So few went wrong, didn't they? They did. Uh, best one, I'd have to say, the classic Denzel Washington. What man? Uh, there's loads of reasons why I, th I thought that was the best one, and the first reason was when I got there. When you get to these film junkets, you have to go into these like uh, holding rooms. Yeah, it's like, room, a, it? like yeah. it's a hotel room, but all the press are in there, so you've got all like the big reporters from BBC, ITV, all like, you know, suited, booted and all talking about how they well, how well they know Denzel Washington. And I used to roll up with my little jeans, my little black shirt. Yeah, the Ben Sherman got dug out again, didn't and it? Some done, yes, the old Ben Sherman <laughs> came flying out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the old go, Adidas green, uh, the Dunlops, uh, the old green flash. So I walked into this, the Denzel Washington one, and they were like, they all looked at me and went, oh, are you here to see Denzel? I was like, oh, yeah, funny that. Yeah, cause you all are, like, I'm in the same room as you, yeah. yeah. They were like, <laughs> oh my God, he will hate you. He, he won't like what you do, like. They'll watch you though, so, by the sound of it. So yeah, they, yeah. So they knew what they I knew. They knew what you were yeah. doing, so, yeah. To be fair, because I was there, every, it's always the same people. Yeah, that, suppose, yeah, yeah, so they knew what I was gonna do. And I was like, oh, okay, great, okay, all right. So Denzel's not gonna like it. I said, that could make quite, entertaining you know two, two so and a half two and a half that, two, but that was the beauty of it though wasn't it yeah exactly even so, though you did fall on your face it was still funny yeah, <laughs> it doesn't so, really make a difference so, win win so they they were like no they really won't like this and mm. I'm like alright so I was like oh god this could be awkward but you know so I'm going to do it and get out and never see me again no. so all good so anyway my turn went in and I went in I was like alright all right. and he was, so, he was like proper serious he was like how are you doing I was like I'm good like that. he was like alright cool and I was like Okay, I reckon he definitely won't like me. Yeah. So I said, uh, you're top man, you are den. I've been rapping since I was 10. <laughs> oh, rapping's for life, just not for Christmas. Like that. And I kept doing that, I had my eyes closed. Yeah, you held it in yeah. for ages. Like and there was no noise. <laughs> I was in my head going, oh, <laughs> when I open my eyes, he's going to be absolutely fume boat. Yeah. So I opened the eyes and looked across, Den's was just like that. And I just went, and he just went, and I just went, oh, love, oh God. <laughs> so I was trying to hold the silence, like that, and all of a sudden he went, what'd you say? And I was like, yeah. uh, I, I've been rapping since I was 10. I'm like, it's not just for Christmas. It's not just for Christmas. Yeah. He's like, and he was like saying, does your mum know you're here? Does your dad know you're here? I went, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, I, I, I love Big Denzel. Mm. <laughs> mum, you really bought into it, didn't you? Mum loved Big Denzel. And he was like, ah. And then all of a sudden he was like, this bloke's a bit of a clown, I quite like this. Yeah. So he was, anyway, I'm not going to go through the whole interview, but it, it, we started shit, like shouting at each other. He was like mucking around and mucking yeah. around like that. And he, he basically loved it. Mm. So as he got up, He's yeah, got me, cool. he's got me, yeah. he's got me like that. And he's like walking down, I know you've got a bad hip, if you can play along with me. Yeah. Like oh, so he's, <laughs> and he's walked me out down the Dorchester Hotel, wherever we were, going, tubes, tubes. <laughs> and to the left there is all the, um, the, all the old people that didn't, yeah, like, yeah. didn't like it. He's going, don't F with big tubes. Like that. <laughs> all the way down the corridor. Like that. And I was like, it went all right. Yeah. <laughs> were they really nice it was, the next week? Yeah, they no, 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 were all the best mates the next week. So that was probably the best one. 203 yards. Definitely shouldn't have got off the whites. Nah. Very nice shot though. No, this is playing well. It's good. It's going to be short, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Oh, might have crept in. Nah, I, psh, I really hope not. Hit that well. Right, I've seen Patty Noodles hybrid. And I'm going to go five iron. Aim it left on the down slope. Don't think about it too much. Cut. Nice shot. Keep cutting, please. Get over. Get over. 
Yes, dance oh, it. Stop, oh, you swine. It's long. Stop, you swine. <laughs> it's long. Get up the hill. Oh, that's not, that's really not that good enough. That didn't make any sense either. Oh, yes, bruv. Yeah, oh, that is delightful. Stop, slow, slow, oh, this is not, ooh, could be back. <sighs> Come on, nothing in it. Square baby, come on! Right then, eleventh, par five, five two five. I'm gonna have to get the big stick out. I think wind in face. Oh, wow. and that's a goal! That's out the ball. That's out the ball. That's gone. <sighs> oh, oh, high. It's gone high. It's well high. Yeah. It's well short. Jesus, the wind and my lack of muscle. Oh, bam, bada, bam, bam for the reload. Nah, you're all right, bruv. <laughs> <laughs> on, to, on to the next one. <laughs> okay, well, that's that hole ended. Back to one up. Kaput. Right, so we're just waiting for people to tee off. Uh, but I remembered uh, one of my favourite other uh, raps to Peter Shilton. He's like, you're top man, you are Shilts. I'm flying high, it's like I'm on stilts. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> <laughs> what a load of s**t! <laughs> um, Makes but, the hairs in the back of my neck stand oh, up mate, now. Uh, I, know, I, I couldn't watch it. I couldn't watch it back. Um, but yeah, the worst, the worst one had to be Steve Coogan. Coogan yeah, I remember Steve you Coogan. Back from that. Steve Coogan hates me, or hated me. Probably still does hate me. It was the worst experience of my rapping career. He didn't buy into it, did he? he did, I did not buy into yeah. it. I walked in, shook his hand. And he was like, all right, all right. And I did a rap, can't remember what it was. I've forgotten about the whole, yeah, whole day. Blanked it out. Oh yeah, a whole week <laughs> around it. And he just looked at me. And normally there's a bit of stare off, there's a bit of fun, but it was like a horrible stare off, wasn't it? It was just, yeah. you're a bit of a <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I know, I am a bit of a <laughs> um, So anyway, we stared off for about 15 to 17 seconds. And then I went, um, Obviously, you're a very, 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 very funny man. But who's the uh, funniest man ever? Steve Coogan just went, not you. I went, yep. Okay. See that, Steve? <laughs> Cheers, Steve. Walked out and the cameraman, and the cameraman behind Steve Coogan, who was filming me at the time, was just like, He's like, oh. I was like, oh. Did, when you when you when you started to get up and walk out, was anything said? No, I went to say sort of like, see you later. Anyway, he went over. He's like, see ya. Oh, oh, it, it was rank. So big and conceded previous hole. So I'm one up. This is the 12th hole. 187 par three. Oh no. Dolly. Laid up. This is. T Look how I've hit the divot before the. That's awful. Come on. That's nice. That is nice. Oh. I don't know what's there. Does it go around that way a bit? I think so. I think it looked all right. 55 yards to the pin.
That's better. That's better. Much better, Peter. Right. 60 degree in the, the rough. Don't desell. Oh, that's a good shot. Come on. Get up. Get up. Oh, oh. That. that is such oh, a bad putt. Scan. Two up. Two up. Well done, bruv. Cheers. Lovely second. Another absolute monster of a golf hole. But I've got to put it out there. Burr Hill, new course, is looking incredible. The fairways, Ange, aren't they? They're just... Yeah, it's lovely, actually. It's lovely. Unbelievable. I'm not doing it justice, but I'm loving playing the course. Shot. Yeah, that's lovely. Down the mid. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. Gonna miss that second bunker. Lovely. Straight past. down there. I think it's gone past. Yes. yes. I've seen it. Good shot. Oh, lovely Great connection. Shot. Right, that tree. Nice shot, go. Cheers, mate. Hopefully that tree's not blocking you, though. That's just laying up near the bunker. Good shot, and Yeah, that's what I wanted. That's a lovely shot. That's what I wanted. Lovely shot. Lovely shot, Bigger. Oh no. Duffed it. I'm not as good as I think I, well, I don't think I'm good at all, but that. Where? That's lovely, isn't it? Go. Oh. Oh, it's long. It's long. New balls, please, new balls. Right, need to go up and down to have any kind of chance, because that was sh an absolute stupid decision from me. <laughs> Real stupid decision. 55. It's off the back, and that's your old. Nice. Conceded. On to the next. Right, one up. On the 14th. Par four. Out of bounds, right. Well, not out of bounds, but hazard. Oh, I've duffed it. I've duffed it up the middle. Absolutely useless. Yeah, that'll do, yep. That'll do. Yeah. That'll do, pig. Low one again. Sat up well there. That's all today. Right, so water runs across the middle of the fairway. Water right, water left. So rather than try and go for it, I'm just going to hit a low. Low dolly, five. Nice shot. Yeah. Smart play, bro. Yeah, I think so. Just get, try and get on in three. Shot. Yes. Great shot. Great shot. Great oh. shot. Oh. 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 <laughs> Brilliant, bruv. Brilliant shot from Pat, that. 
So this has to go close, I think, otherwise you can see though. Oh, that sounded Dougie fresh. Short. Dougie fresh. Short. Oh, short. Right then, come on. Oh, oh, great shot. Bird putt. Bird putt, a great long second. bird putt. Great second shot. Oh, I didn't see that break. That's gone right, isn't it? Yeah. Right, come on. Oh! Ooh, cheeky. In for five. In for five. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Clinging on. Probably the best night ever. Uh, I say, you've had some wild nights. Yeah, not that I can remember many of them, but no. yeah, I have had some wild nights. But I actually found this, well, mum found this the other day. Yeah. Was this. A young Noel Gallagher. A young Noel Gallagher. Please come and celebrate. Noel's 40th at Kitts Club, Sloan Square. I mean, there's no expense spared with those invitations, <laughs> is there? I mean, <laughs> that, find me. That is a proper, proper <laughs> invitation. So Noel Gallagher's 40th. We all went, all, all, the, all the boys from the team. It was just absolutely surreal. It was like, just walked in there. Are you going like, to go into some of the things that happened? Yeah, well, there's, there's, Maybe the urinals. <laughs> <laughs> there was, there was, yeah, there was. So I, I'm walking around, there's like James Corden, David Walliams, all these supermodels, and like, I'm just like, what is, what, what am I doing here? So I was like, obviously down in the drinks because that's what I, what I did every time I left the house on a weekend when I was doing my drinking. And I went to the toilet and I was, I was having a, I was having a little whittle. And then I just seen this man just bowl up to me like that. It was Liam Gallagher. He was like, "All right, mate, I can't do that, can't, but that's a terrible accent." Yeah, not the finest hour that <laughs> yeah. one, was it? But he was like, "He was like, all right, mate, how you doing?" I was like, "Yeah, not bad, Liam." I was just like proper starstruck. And I was like, um, "He was like, go on then, ask me a question." I went, um. <laughs> "He's like, go on." He was like, right up in my face. So I was like, um. And then uh, Paul Weller was stood behind him going, why, is, no, he, no, why, nuts, why is he asking him to ask him a question? Because yeah. he obviously didn't have a clue what I was. He's gone, go on, go on, one question, one question. I go, on, do it. And I li literally panicked and went, uh, uh, who's your favourite Everyman City player? And he went, oh, bit of a shit question. And I went, well, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, he was like, oh, no. he, he was caught like, me off guard. He went like, yeah, Georgie Concladzi. I think he said Georgie Concladzi or something. I was like, all right, all right, then see you, Liam. And he just bowled off like that. And then the, the whole night just went on, it was like mad. And then I got told afterwards by Noel, uh, I don't know if you've heard this, no. but Noel, next time he came on the show, or a couple of years later when he came back on the show, he was like, do you remember my 40th? And I was like, yeah, it was wicked, mate. Thanks for the well, invite. Well, did you? Thanks for the invite. Not really, no. <laughs> I was like, thanks, not, for the, not much. thanks for the invite. And he went, he was like, do you remember what you did? And I went, no. He went, you stopped my limo me and my wife were going back to our house you stopped a limo and you thought it it was a it was a taxi yeah. and you and you asked can you take me back to cobham brilliant <laughs> and apparently the geezer was in like a, yeah a limo. yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I was yeah going, well, will yeah. you take me back to cobham and he went no i've just taken noel and his wife back to the house and apparently noel just put their window down i was like what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, i mean you did have some fun times yeah. didn't you but um yeah so that was one hell of a night, and again, down to Soccer AM. Did you get a nod to his 50th? Did I? <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh that's bad. nice. Stay there, stay there, stay there, Down please the stay left. there. Down the left. Please stay there. Oh, it's oh, wet. Gone wet. It's wet. Oh. oh. I didn't even know there was water there. Neither did I. Oh, splish, splash. The only half decent shot I've hit all day and I've stuck S it in the water. Splish, splash. I'm having a bath. <laughs> Have a bath. Okay, so big ends in the water, so I'm going to try and, well, try and play it safe. Oh, yeah. Seven iron. Up the water. This is ridiculous. This is... This is Buffed it. No, that's all right. Come on, head up. I'm going to just go for it now. Go on, get up there, get up, get up, get up! Yes! Oh, let's run it! It's a good shot, let's run long again. So, Patricia City's third shot, great shot it was. This is my third shot with a drop. I'm gonna go six on, all over water. Brilliant. No, go, go, go. Oh, it's dry, I think. It's dry. All right, standard of golf has been absolutely atrocious, but somehow clinging in. Lovely yes. shot. Come on. Oh, that's a shot. Go, go, go. Woo, great oh. shot. All right, me to go. Are we, uh, are we as, it, as it lies? Yeah, I believe so. Just don't miss them, do you? Ooh. Ooh. You just don't miss them. Right. Just to stay one up, one down. Oh, no! Oh. Absolute dog. Dog. <laughs> okay, so two up, three to play. Closing in, I think. Oh, great Lovely shot. soup. Great shot. Really like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Pleased with that. Well done, ladle. Cheers, soup. Oh, oh yes. Go past the tree. Oh, I'll it, I think. Oh, hit it. <laughs> Honestly, the only straight shot of it all day, and I put myself there on a tree in the middle of the fairway. What a plum. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Pat, how soccer am? Obviously it has changed a lot, but how's, how's it changed for you over the years and what you're going to miss the most about, arguably the greatest football show ever to exist? Yeah. Um, it has changed. It's, it's, it has massively changed, but it's had to change because I get fed up with like people like who were saying, "Oh, it's not what it used to be. It's not what it used to be." Like, oh. yeah, yeah, it can't be what it used to be. No, because the way the world's changed, you can't be doing stuff that we were doing back in the day. No, and you know some of the joke and some of the innuendos and stuff like that. We we can't do stuff like that. No. So it's like yeah, it wasn't by anyone's fault that no, it's it, like you, you just the dynamics had exactly. to change. Exactly, and, right, and what, what I will say is. Under like, you know, when Fenners was producing and Sheep Head and, you know, the early days of Andy Harris and, you know, people like that. Yeah. It was monumental. And I, I truly believe that it was very, very poor for a good few years. Mm. But when Fenners came back with mm. Darius, I, I thought the show was like, well, it just went vroom. Yeah. You know, it was back to being like a proper, proper football show, funny. Yeah, and Fenners and Darius did an amazing job. Um, so 
it, it has changed what well, some of the you know with the content we could do and you know we used to do mm. um but Fernandes and Darius did an amazing job you know and then when Jimmy Bullard joined it was like you know him doing the drills and stuff like that and it was you know it's it's a really really good television program it is very sad that you know it's it, it will be no longer but what will I miss the buzz the buzz after the show when you've done a live a live show and you've come off and you're like yeah that was amazing do you know I reckon, what I mean? do you reckon the routine what you'll miss the routine because obviously you've done the same work pattern every week for pretty much the whole of your life yeah it's pretty it's been busy. tuesday to saturday right afternoon every, yeah. every, every single week yeah so i've been pretty regimented into that sort of yeah. way of working and it will be a big change in my life like you know i don't know what what is going to happen if i'm going to stay at sky i've got you know meetings with you know people coming up but yeah to not to get the saturday morning the saturday morning yeah. buzz it's like when a footballer says you're like match day yeah, yeah. Do you know what i mean so yeah uh, it was uh, a good buzz as well when yeah. I obviously I helped out when, yeah. I was, when I was at Sky back in the day and yeah it is it's a great a buzz. proper team like, yeah, it's like a football like a, because yeah, if, a you're team watching that, if you're watching it live like you see like the audience buzzing mm. you know if the show's really good everyone's in like like fine form like getting involved laughing joking and then when the show's done you're like oh wow yeah. like, you know the amount of times like you know, they'd be buzzing yeah. like, so I'm going to miss that and you know obviously all the people Babs can you see that? Look at look at that look. <laughs> the only straight shot of it all day. It's taken me 15 holes to do that and I've slapped it behind an oak tree. Might not be an oak tree, comment down below. Whatever, it's a big big old tree. Might just lay up. Come on goat, close me out. Let's go and get a burger. Right. Laid up. To the right. You're just feeling sorry for me. No, I think alright, just laid up to the right. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> I'm trying to think of anything. I mean, I can't do anything. Who do you think you are? Can I hook it? He said. <laughs> Go on, try it. I need to win, don't I? Can't do anything. Please try and hook it. Get me home. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sweet Lord. 87 to the middle. So about, about 90, 95. Three quarter 50. Oh, nice, nice. Run out. Nice, nice, Run nice. Out. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. about that drive, that's golf there. Come on. 29 yards. Three quarter swing. Yeah. Oh, shot. Great That's shot. Great. That's get in. Get in. Oh, why is it going long all the time? Oh. What is going? This is mad. Yeah, they're hard, aren't they? Jeez. They firmed up. Right then, you legends. This is for par. You're for par. But I need to win the hole. So, is that, so that's swim for five. Have a putt, just for a laugh. See if you can drain it. Oh. That's it. That, that was it. Is it. You can have that one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna make you bite that one out. Oh, there we go. And that well was played. it. Nice one, mate. Done me. Nice one, bro. Great, great video. It was really interesting to hear about your your journey throughout the whole years. Yeah, any, uh, any any final thoughts? You want to close the video on? Felt a bit weird doing it, but um, just want to say like thanks for all the support um, over the last twenty odd years with all the messages about soccer and stuff like that. And it's your life, isn't it? It has been my life. life. So, and just I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it massively. And obviously the people. Yeah, just want to say thanks so much for all the support and uh, hopefully you'll carry on supporting us with Golf Life. It's the only life we know. Oh yeah. So if you want to subscribe and uh, give us a like. Please do. Do it if you don't. 
Ten bopper. <laughs> See you later. Legends.